I've been like a big fan of his music from the jump. Like when Rubbing Off the Paint first came off, like first came out, I used to uh, DM him all the time. And I would be like, yo, I'm trying to remix this. Like for real, for real. So as soon as I heard the record, he was the first person that I heard to hop on. And I was like, yo, like I don't want nobody else to get on it. I didn't used to check my DMs like that. <laughs> but I used to know about, I knew exactly who he was when they told me about he wanted to do a song. I was like, bruh, get him. Like, like get the verse right now. Let's do That's this crazy. now. So you feel me? I did it, sent it back and went crazy. Like, yeah. I actually appreciate the music that I grew up on. Like it inspires me every day to like create something different. I feel like that's what music's all about. That shit went crazy. Right? I swear right? to God. I swear to God. <laughs> that shit went crazy, bro. Okay, now after you back it up, then stop. Oh, wop, 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 wop. Drop it like it's hot. Okay, now after you back it up, then stop. Oh, wop, wop. Why, uh, drop it like it's out of the the beginning part of the song was inspired by Wayne just because you know it's a it's a classic when you hear it how you're not gonna jig to it like every bitch twerks to it <laughs> it's a fact I used to be like one of those like big like Lil Wayne fans that whenever he dropped a mixtape like I was on it dropped three I was on it like every you name it I was on it but I know you just can't understand it like how she have it I guess that doesn't turn to magic right like Aladdin my girl got a fat ass and like I feel like it's the perfect ass everybody has their own personal preference some people like really huge asses some people like no asses you feel me some people just like tits like I'm just the ass type of guy I like ass okay ten toes bouncing on that dick like she can manage okay like where the freak coast like bounce that ass and make the motherfucking knee show hold up 80 grand 20 grand no up in my hand I'm not even on that shit no more <laughs> that was like me having like a flashback like mid right in the verse of like when I used to go to the strip club like crazy. What you really there for? If you're not balling, get the fuck out. Real shit. Damn, please understand. Damn, ma'am. See, I'm really about these bands. How you came with all of that? She gonna bust it from the front and I'm gonna catch it from the back. My leg got me crazy. I'm feeling upset. Perks too lazy. I can't focus. I mean, I'm not proud to say this, but like whenever I, I, I did the drugs that I dabbled with, you know what I mean? I was just very aware of what I was doing. I've always been like that growing up though, like just very attentive to like my surroundings and like what I'm getting myself involved. If she don't pay her bills today, she's upset. I'm gonna pay her rent today, you know this. Okay, I whip it out the lot, six time I whip it out the pot. I threw a 50 bands, I saw it fall from the sky. My ring is on a hundred BB, yes it's on the watch. Okay, these niggas steady hating, it ain't hard to wonder why. Like, girl, you working with some mad shit. You bad shit, making niggas spend his cash yeah. His last year, hoes ride like they mad yeah. Like, fuck yeah, I'm a big time nigga yeah. Money flipper yeah. Okay, get it like it's good yeah. Understood yeah. Girl, you working with some mad shit. You bad yeah, making niggas spend his cash yeah. His last year, hoes ride like they mad yeah. Like, fuck yeah. I actually got the hook inspired from Drake, from his version of Back That Ass Up, because I liked his hook way better. I'm gonna be real, I feel like it was like. It was structured better, but like Juvies is a classic. I grew up listening to Drake, bro. Of course I'm gonna, you know what I mean, like get inspired for something like that. Like anybody saying my age, saying that they're not inspired by Drake, line. Cap, it's all cap. AK-47, get shit to heaven. I can't fuck with no oppos, I learned my lesson. Let a nigga try to rob me and I'm a blessing. 30 clip up in that Ruger, nigga keep a weapon. I was talking to this one girl, like, when I was blowing up at the time, right? So, try to get a nigga set up. Well, so you feel me? Can't trust no hoes. Put your trust in your girl, but for me, watch, watch who you just think. Pay attention to everything, bruh. Lil' baby say she wanna fuck with me. She wanna fuck with a little nigga from them streets. And I'm a hot nigga, leave a nigga in them streets. That little tech hot knock a nigga off his feet. Hey, I was like 16, towing 16. Just a young fly nigga with a big dream. At 16, the big dream was now. Like my life now. For my position right now, I'm happy for where I'm at, but I still got a lot to accomplish. These bitches, they be on me, say macaroni. Hey, switch like Michael Jordan since I was like Kobe. These old bitches started hating since I'm getting the back. Still keep an Uzi on my lap and trues on my ass. I'm worth some trues if they skinny. They be making like fat trues now, so I don't really fuck with it, but if they some skinny trues and like they. They look good on me for I'ma wear them hoes. All these bitches, they be freaks and they be shaking that ass. I had to run my money up and show them that on the mat. When I heard that shit, I was like, bruh, this the one, I'm finna turn this bitch up. I'm finna what? We finna really throw some fucking Wi-Fi in this bitch. Bruh. <laughs> Nigga, what, five bars, four bars, all yeah, that shit. All that shit, like, bro. Full LTE, fuck it.